ICE agent's suicide note is now revealing government plans to round up and disarm Americans during a time of future economic and bank collapse. According to Superstation 95 FM out of New York, they're reporting some very deeply troubling news, but nothing awake Americans don't already know. Yes, they disclose that after writing a lengthy suicide note exposing terrifying plans that the government has for American citizens, a U.S. Customs agent walked onto a pier in New York City and blew his brains out. Sources inside the New York City Police Department have revealed to Superstation 95 the contents of his suicide note that was found on his body, and they are frightening. The note outlines why the officer chose to shoot himself. Quote, this is the words of his note. The America I grew up in and cherished has been murdered by its own federal government. Our Constitution has become meaningless. Our laws politicized so badly they are no longer enforced except for political purposes. The note continued, Our elected officials are, to a person, utterly corrupt and completely devoid of any love or respect for the country which pays them. To them, everything is about getting and keeping power and making illicit money from backroom deals. Now, the 42-year-old U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement deportation officer shot himself with a 40 caliber service pistol inside Pier 40 on the Hudson River Park at around 11 a.m. Apparently, a source at the scene described that the officer calmly walked into the park, took out his pistol, and shot himself in the head. Now, the suicide note, the officer revealed what he claimed are terrifying plans that the feds have been finalizing and I have actually been tracking these very plans for many years now uh, made some documentary films on it as well uh, quote if the American people knew what this government is planning they would rise up and overthrow it if I or anyone else in the federal government revealed what is coming we would be killed anyway so now I will reveal what I know we in federal law enforcement have been drilling for several years to control riots and uprising from a coming financial collapse and widespread bank failure. The drills involve life-size images of American men, even women and children, whom we are told to shoot for practice and to get used to it. We've been told that the economy is terminally ill and we will fail in 2016. We are also told that the banks are insolvent and the FDIC doesn't have nearly enough funds to bail out depositors. We are told these, that these events are unavoidable, unavoidable and it is imperative that the U.S. government survive when people rise up over this. When the collapse takes place, detention camps created under the Rex 84 program in the 1980s to house illegal aliens whom uh, we're going to deport will instead be used to imprison American citizens whom the government feels constitute a threat. Wow, that's, uh, that's stuff that I've actually been covering for a long time. Rex 84, the FEMA camps, uh, you know, that whole, that whole element, the continuity of government program. Uh, it states here that American citizens will be rounded up without warrants and imprisoned without trial for God knows how long. It states that these camps have been equipped to carry out Hitler-scale killings, an actual purge of American citizens by the very government which they themselves created and pay for. And he wrote, I cannot be party to this. Wow, it's a very lengthy note, and I'm only reading part of it here. Uh, it goes on to say that the government knows the military will rise up to stop this, so our military is being deployed overseas and intentionally involved in foreign fights so, so they cannot be here to help Americans. Uh, certainly some a frightening future painted by this suicide note, and uh, so frightening, in fact, that this agent took it upon himself to kill himself. Uh, to relieve himself of the burden that he felt uh, that his own job and his own participation in this program uh, placed upon him. So, again, like I said, I've been reporting on these types of stories uh, for a long time, and now you have a ICE agent coming out. And what's interesting, too, is that this, the, the suicide note was leaked. Um, so, I mean, look, this is a very very shocking suicide note to begin with. Now, 
The only reason I'm giving it any level of credibility is because these are things that I have reported on in the past and I know exist. So for somebody within the, the, the government uh, infrastructure who would be tasked with carrying out these, these, um, these types of uh, roundups to come out, blow the whistle, and kill themselves is not outside the scope of reality. Um, but nonetheless, it could, I mean, there's still a level of question here. Why would the, why would the New York police uh, even have this suicide note to begin with, uh, unless, wouldn't the feds be the ones to come in and take this guy? I don't know. There's a whole procedural issue there that needs to be questioned, but nonetheless, frightening information. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Weigh in in the comment section below. Subscribe for updates. And if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. It's time to live the life you deserve. Trade Genius offers daily stock market alerts sent straight to your mobile device. We do the research on the market, then we text you when we buy and when we sell. We do all the work. You make the profits. It's that easy. Take advantage of our 70% average win today and try us out for $19.99. Sign up today and start living the life you deserve.